What's your drill for? I don't know. I didn't see him do anything with it. Might be a fire. That sucker move. He said he went 170 miles. No, what, what, he went over 170 miles an hour one time. Well, you sure couldn't fly it at our field. If anything could go wrong with it, you'd you you would be way over on the other side of Dixie and the river. I guess he could hold it in close, but man, at that speed, look at that, wow. fall if you'd go that close to the corn you could have some popcorn couldn't you because that does really throw out gee money I thought our jets was fast on flyby gee money And mess up your neck, won't it? Well, I'm glad I stayed for that. That was yeah, impressive. Yeah, yeah, me too. That was very impressive. I think he's landing now, isn't he? No, no. His gear's not down. And apparently that's a, uh, a balsa covered hardwood uh, plywood plane. It ain't foam. No, no, not no. fiberglass. I wonder if put a real in a plane. Yeah, they're doing it now. Yeah, HSD's got them. Yeah, mine's capable. That, uh, you really have to uh, insulate that insulate foam. Insulate yeah. that thing. Really yeah. That big uh, 3D profile. Yeah. That's a way to cut down on the 
of course, didn't it? Looks like that's a big old 160 motor on it. Oh, wheels are down. I think he's coming in for a landing. No, wheels are back up. Now he's geared down. down pretty nice. It does, don't it? Look at that. Wow. That's Whoa, incredible. man. Boy, that's all right. Yes, sir. Golly. That is the top of the hobby, isn't it? So you said there's nobody in the club that flies uh, turbines? Bob Booth is the only one. He had one some time ago. I think it caught on fire and burned up uh, out at the base. Boy, that's fabulous. <laughs>